I've been sharing a lot more videos about how me and my team at Surface have been using Fello to improve our communication, collaboration, and meeting effectiveness. But today I'm gonna to show you a few ways that I use Fello and the AI capabilities every single day to speed up my workflow. But if you're new here, my name is Mark e. Murray. I'm the CEO of Surface. We are proud fellow ambassador and Asana partner. And I make videos like this every single week to help you and your teams get the most out of your tech. So in a second here, I'm gonna get into the demo, but I wanna show you a few ways that I'm using Fellow's Copilot, both in meeting and post meeting to help speed up my workflow as a CEO. Let's take a look, All right? And the first thing I'm gonna show you is exactly what you see on the screen here. I'm gonna show you some of the in meeting capabilities. Now, this call recording, I've invited Fellow Copilot to it. It's been running for a few minutes now. It's heard me, you know, getting my script together and I've gone through a few versions of that intro. Um, that you won't see in the edits here today. But I'm gonna show you how this is helping me during meetings to get the most out of the call and make the most of my time. So while you're in a meeting, we happen to use Google Meet. Um, we have the fellow co-pilot can be invited to the meeting and can see and hear everything that's going on. In so again, it's been running for a few minutes. And so I'm just gonna interact with the co-pilot a little bit so you can see exactly how I use it day to day. Now we're all on a lot of calls every single day, whether it's webinars or internal meetings or sales calls. For me, I find myself in a lot of sales calls and sometimes, sometimes uh, I get a bit distracted, right? Whether someone else is presenting or they're speaking or I'm working from home when my kids burst in the door, I get a little bit distracted and I may miss something. So one of the ways that I use it is while I'm taking my, my notes here, you know, me and my team are going back and forth notes here i may miss something uh that's not how you spell it i may miss something like that so what i'm able to do now is right up in the top uh tab here you'll see that there's a little ask copilot um tab there and so what i'm able to do is i come right in here and if i miss something i can just interact with it and ask it so in this case i'm going to say um what have i said about today's um video let's just see what it comes back with so it's been listening to me as i go back and forth based on the transcript provided I shared the following about today's call you mentioned that you're the founder and ceo of surface they spelt it wrong it's c-i-r um and that you are a proud asana partner fellow ambassador you said you make videos like this every single week you stated that this in this video you're going to show a few ways you use fellows co-pilot so it's done a pretty good job it's heard me it's understood me and it's caught me up really really quickly. Now, if I'm on a call, the use case is, what did so-and-so just say about such and such topic? Oftentimes they're listing things out. They're sharing things about their organization, key details that I don't want to miss. And maybe I want to ask a question about. So I can come in here as they're talking, type something really quickly, get a really succinct update of what I may have just missed. And then I can get back to the meeting. So it helps keep me focused in the meeting and on track without having to write a bunch of notes down and be distracted even by having to do that type of activity. So that's one of the ways that it helps me. And now there are integrations with this. I'm gonna make another video on integrations because if you're using say HubSpot as an example, which was what we use at Surface, you can take all of these notes and you, and you can push them over to HubSpot, but I'll, I'll show you that another time. But another way that I'm using uh, fellow co-pilot is in my post meetings. Now, as the founder, I am doing founder led sales. So if you're watching this video, you want to learn more about fellow or Asana, you're going to get on a call with me, right? And so we have what is called a connect call, which is 30 to 45 minutes where we're just sharing um, your use cases, your goals. I'm asking questions to understand if we can really help you. Then the second call is an explore call. It's a longer call, typically 45 to 60 minutes, where I'm asking you to share your screen. We're talking about your different projects, your different workflows, your needs, whether it's training or workflow optimization. And then I want to put a proposal together for you to make sure that we're aligned and on the same page around the scope the goals and our timeline. Because I have so many calls, I'll, I'll sometimes have four or five sales calls in a day. It's a lot of information to retain. And because I'm not furiously taking notes all day, I'm relying on my co-pilot to pick up on all those action items. And so when you get into Fellow, I'm using the Fellow app today. Um, I go to recordings and then I wanna go to view all recordings. So here I have all my meetings. Yep, there's a lot of them. Uh, and then we have like a company library where we share, you know, updates to the company so everyone can have access to them. But I'm going to go to view all. 
And I'm just going to find a random thing. Let's see what I can find here. So I've likely already done this for this call because this is a connect call. Um, like you can see here. So I would have met with someone and you asked a bunch of questions. And so here is one, the summary of the call, which is great, right? You've seen that before in my other fellow videos. Here we have some action items as well. So what are the things out of the meeting that I have to do versus what the prospect has to do and what decisions were made. But here is where I use this to speed up my workflow and get through these proposals a lot faster. When I go to ask Copilot, it starts up at the top. It says, hey, Marky, I'm fellow Copilot, AI assistant uh, who can help with extracting information from meetings. And yes, you do a fantastic job of that Copilot. So you can see it right here. What I have is a, a, a prompt that I've created that I use every single meeting just like this. As we know with AI, outputs can be wrong. So what I'm doing is I'm copying and pasting it. Sure, but I'm also able to review the call, jump to various chapters to verify the information, and then I'm often interacting with Copilot to ask it to expand on some things. So I'm going to show you what that prompt looks like. And for this, I use a tool called Text Expander, where you can use whatever you want to, where you can copy and paste this. But I go like this, period, and then I go sale, like so, and it puts that prompt in automatically for me. Like, so I'm not going to put it in there again. I, I don't want to mess with the meeting. But then out of that, it gives me the clients. It gives me their goals. So improve the utilization of Asana across the organization to support the company's rapid growth from five to 30 plus employees. That was one of the key goals that the customer wanted to um, achieve through this project. Now, for me, I like to basically tell Copilot all of these things during the meeting. So I'll ask questions like, all right, great prospect. Uh, we're working together. It's been two, three months down the road. What goals have we achieved together? What's the business use case for this project? What are we trying to do together? And from that, they'll answer questions. And then I'll ask them to expand during the call on some of those goals so I can get as much information for Copilot as possible. So I can put together the most thorough and in-depth proposal that is aligned with their goals, helps the prospect to understand that I was there on the call and I understood their needs and we are the best choice for them. So in this case, give me these three goals. And if it's not enough, I'll ask it to expand. If there's something that I remember that maybe Copilot left out or forgot about or didn't feel to be important, I then go back and say, hey, we actually discussed this related to this goal. Can you expand on that? And then it will go deeper into the transcript and pull up more information. And because we price all of our, our work based on project workflows and what is essentially an end to end process where it starts, there's a trigger. Um, there are certain people involved. There are layers of approvals. There are um, different tools involved, different steps that need to be completed. I want to understand what all of those different components are in the workflow. And so the second thing it outputs is the workflow component. So in this case, the first workflow component was the Asana project management system where we want to update, optimize the current Asana setup, uh, establish dependencies and automations between tasks and project phases, and then integrate Asana with existing tools like Google Drive and Harvest for time tracking. Okay. Next was we needed to create some Asana templates. And so what it's doing is it's going through every single thing in the transcript. If there's anything I want it to expand on, it's also doing that. I also ask it in the prompt to uh, list out any wish list items, some things that maybe weren't, you know, core to the deliverable or the goals, but things that we maybe want to add in um, for the customer as well. And then um, it just gives us this, this section here for alignment with existing solutions. Then when that's done, I've taken it, I put it into my proposal, I've fine tuned it, I've expanded on some things, I've made sure the AI is correct in this case, and then I give it another prompt and I say, perfect. Now give me a short description in the form of a brief so that I can give my team an overview of the project. Now this is what I'll actually take and copy and paste into the HubSpot deal description so that when this deal moves through the pipeline, uh, we send out some automated emails in the back end to basically inform the team, hey, we've got a proposal, it's been sent to the customer or a prospect, get familiar with the, the, the pending project here. And so then I'll take this and it will say, customer and events production company has engaged uh, us to enhance their usage of Asana for better support and rapid growth. Their key objectives are one, two, three, this project will be delivered in a phased approach. And so again, it's taking all the information, all the things that we know about this project and all the things that we typically will include in a project proposal 
or a project brief in this case, and it's spitting it out. And so I, I love this because again, I can't remember everything. I'm one person doing all of the sales and it's really tough for me to keep up sometimes. So fellow Copilot keeps me on track and it keeps all of my notes. It keeps everything regarding all of our customer opportunities all right here for me to reference at any time. And then, like I said, I can ask it to expand on some things. So um, let's go back to um, our established dependencies. So I'm going to just highlight that and copy it. And then I'm going to ask Copilot to just help me out a little bit. Can you please expand on the below point? I remember them talking about um, the specific use case for dependence um give me more information please so and then i'll copy in that point and let's see what it comes back with it's gathering insights a lot of information from one little point so expand on this so um they want to establish dependencies and automations between tasks and project phases based on the discussion in the meeting transcript or prospect has identified the need to create clear dependencies with automations within their solid workflows. Currently, their project management process involves a lot of manual coordination um, and task tracking, especially as the organization has grown. Some specific examples discussed included um, automating alerts and escalations when tasks are overdue or deadlines are missed will allow the team to proactively address potential roadblocks, establishing dependencies, and you can read the rest of it. But this is one of the ways that it's helping me to not only recall the conversations, but then give the right amount of context when I'm then presenting the proposal to my prospect as well to make sure that um, I've understood everything. Uh, I've dotted all my, my I's and crossed all of my T's. And again, I'm able to do that because of this powerful AI system uh, behind the scenes. So I hope you found this helpful. Again, I'm going to record other videos on integrations between fellow and other tools because I think that we're only scratching the surface here and I want to show you so much more about what this tool can do. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I love when I get comments. Uh, if you found this video helpful, like it and share it with someone who you think would also find this video helpful. But as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.